first win of the season against the Red Sox. Time to hear from Aaron Boone. The manager's report is brought to you by Geico. Hey Aaron, just putting yourselves uh, in a situation to get a series win and getting your first win over the Red Sox. How big is this one tonight? Yeah, I mean, every day is so important right now for us as a team. Um, and, and certainly tonight was was the case. You know, obviously, uh, Garrett was terrific. You know, we came through with some big hits. DJ with a huge at bat there to tie the game. And then a couple of home runs was good to see. Uh, did some really good things defensively. Um, you know, it, so to finally, you know, push through against those guys is certainly nice. Um, and... and you know, now we got a big one tomorrow. How would you assess Garrett and Gary working together tonight? Uh, I thought they were great. Seamless. Uh, I thought it went really well. And what about uh, Gary and Glaber going back to back? It seems that Glaber, I don't think, had a home run since June 5th. Uh, seeing that, does that give you some hope that the offense could turn this around and get a, a series win tomorrow? <sighs> um. Well, I think we can get a series win regardless, you know. Um, but it's definitely the, look; those are two key figures for us in, in our offense, um, you know. So for them to to fire the other way, I know there's been a lot of talk, obviously, about Glaber and and not hitting the ball out of the ballpark. But you know, felt like he swung the bat well in Houston, and and we know what he's capable of. And um, for him to have a tack on run there and really put a good swing on one was encouraging, no doubt. Justin Shackle, please unmute. Hey, Aaron, what made Paul so effective against this lineup this time around after you know, what happened to him in Boston uh, last month? Um, look, I, I think I think it's important last month in, in Boston, really a little bit of an ambush situation there in the first inning, and he kind of reined it in and, and pitched really well from there on out so you know sometimes when when you're up against an ace you you clip them a couple times and and it can turn over their outing by their standard but if you look at the body of work that game you know he kind of locked it in and got in a pretty good rhythm through the middle innings it was just we weren't mounting much tonight I thought he was great I thought I thought you know, he was a little amped in that first inning, locked himself right in, and then, you know, he, he he leaned on a little bit of everything. I thought his fastball got really, really strong as the outing went on as far as his ability to command it. The secondaries were, were all still a factor for him. But I think he, even going back to Houston and now carrying over into this outing, I just thought delivery-wise and starting with the fastball, he could put it where he wanted when he need, needed to. Go next to Brian Hoke. Hey, Aaron, it looked like Garrett came out for the what would have been the seventh inning but it, before they stopped the game. How much further were you going to go with him in this one? Um, not a lot. Um, you know, kind of a little hitter-to-hitter -hitter situation. Um, you know, I was going to have Britt up with him for coming around to the top, um, but felt like he was sound to go back out there. I was a little concerned as, as the inning got kind of long, obviously. Um, so we were just going to kind of watch him and, and kind of, kind of batter by batter. And, uh, you know, if he had a clean, easy one, hopefully get us through that seventh inning, but I would have had Britt up for, you know, the top of the order there. And what did you think of the conditions you guys played in, uh, particularly later in the game? Yeah, it got pretty bad there in the end. And, you know, um, and when I walked out, you know, I actually ended up walking out with Garrett and, and just, looked at the umpires like, you know, what are we doing? And, and actually being out there, it was, you know, it, it was not, not, not good. Christy Ackert, please unmute. Aaron, do you have any update on Tim LoCastro? Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, unfortunately, he has a torn ACL. Thank you. Yeah. Bob Clappish, you have the next question. 